So what's the structure and function of the integumentary system? Well, two major parts of the integumentary system are hair and nails. The third is skin, which we talked about in another video. So what is nail function? Well, first, nails are, pro nails are produced by a substance called keratin. This is a protein in the body that mainly helps with the first function of nails, which is protection. The, section, the second function of nails is for sensory input. This is a little bit less obvious. When we touch something, the nerve endings at the end of our finger, which there are many, are enhanced by the fingernail, and that sends better messages for the brain to interpret what we've touched. The nail is made of several parts, including a body, a lanula, a nail bed, and a nail plate. Um, and you can often see this lanula, so it looks sort of whitish with a crescent shape on the end. And it is white because it lacks a substance called melanin. Most of the nail is actually growing beneath the skin. What about hair? Hair cells grow out of something called a follicle or a hole in the dermis layer of the skin. Around the hair are glands called sebaceous glands, which lubricate the skin and hair. When glands produce too much oil, pores can be clogged and inflamed, resulting in pimples or acne, which is an inflammation of the sebaceous glands. Hair grows all over the body and has four main functions. One is for warmth. For example, hair stands on end because muscles contract when you shiver. And this helps to insulate the body and prevent heat loss. Two, hair serves to protect from pathogens. For example, hair in your pubic region and surrounding your eye, in your eyebrows, for example, catch sweat and block any disease-causing germs from entering the body. And finally, hair helps with sensory input, kind of like nails do. Your hair helps you amplify stimuli from the environment so that your brain can more quickly and easily interpret your surroundings.